boy on the bike. He's seen too much. Get him. There were these two men in space suits, and they, and they came and they took him on a, they took him on a motorbike. <laughs> He's been bitten. Yes. How do you know all these things? Where have you come from? Who are you? You're a tomorrow person. We're the future. The next stage of human evolution. been the victim of a kidnap attempt. The boy's life's in danger. Try and focus on the bag. Do you remember what colour it was? I can't see clearly. It's too dark. We know the number to the bike. The one that tried to run over Amy. The one with Kevin in the sidecar. Hello. So the bike is yours, then? Yes, of course it is. Well, I say is, was. It was stolen. Sinister going on here. These results, they're incredible. If they're right, the implications could be truly terrifying. Well, what do you mean? Oh! No! To me, they're magnificent things. Beautiful. You might even say, I'm in love with mosquitoes. to experience, whilst terrible, it's true, must also be really rather delicious. <laughs> Guys, if you can hear me, I never said anything. Oh. Huh? What? Didn't you just I didn't say what? Hi, Amy, she's in trouble. Yeah, come on, let's go. Good news, guys. I canceled the meeting. I'm all yours. Amy? Amy! Oh, good grief! You nearly frightened us both to death. Could we have a warning of Ruth, some kind? Where's Amy? She was here. She was right here. There was no one around when I got back, and the door was open. Okay. All right, you know what to do? Right ahead of you, pal. Amy. Amy? Amy, can you hear us? Yes! Help me! Get me out of here! Get me out of here, please! How did she do that, Dr. Culex? I have no idea. This could be dangerous. Dr. Dr. Culex? Happily for us, we move on this evening. Onward towards our destiny. Are we prepared? Not, Not quite, quite, Dr. Culex. And don't just stand there gawping. Move! Here. 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 Sip this. Thanks. 
So, then what happened? Oh, that was it. Then I heard your voices, and the next thing I know, I'm back here screaming the walls down. It's all right, Amy. Now, you sure you don't know where this weird laboratory is? Well, it's got to be up at that house someplace. Well, I've heard enough. This time, we go to the police. It's pointless. They won't listen. I'll just have to make them listen. Maybe Ruth's right, eh? OK, I vote we go to the police. I'll get my coat. Amy, we've got to find out what's going on at that house. Guys, it's too scary. <sighs> These are deeply weird people up there. OK, ready? Adam, please. OK, go and get the police. Come on, Amy, we'll tell them the whole story. It'll be all right, we'll wait here. Adam. We'll be all right, I swear. OK, the sooner these freaks are behind bars, the better. Let's go. You guys, be careful. Not Jeffries, it's Kulex. Kulex? What sort of a name's that? That's not a name. It's true, Inspector. She has some sort of hidden laboratory up at that house. She's doing insane experiments with some sort of insects. Oh, and there's those terrible, crazy twins. Nasty bits of business they are. They tried to kill Amy. And the flower pots nearly killed Adam and Megabyte. Oh. Yes, I know it's hard to swallow, Inspector, but please try. Ladies, it's late. I'm off duty in ten minutes. Don't do this to me. Please. Everything? Almost everything, Dr. Culex. Hurry along, you girls. I'll see you both in the morning. Yes, yes Dr. Culex. And drive carefully. Where do you think they're headed? There's one way to find out. You do realize that wasting police time is a serious criminal offense. 
This is not wasting time, Inspector. Good grief. Under the circumstances, I should have thought that any lead was better than none. Thank you, Miss Marple. Your story doesn't add up, my dear. Look, if, as you say, you manage to escape the evil clutches of this Dr. Doom... Kulex. Pardon me, Dr. Kulex. Then how come you don't know where this mysterious secret laboratory is? I teleported. You what? Nothing. Look out! What <laughs> a crazy driving... Come on, let's go. Hey, what do you think's in this? I don't know, but don't play with it. It's probably got those mosquito things in it. Well, we gotta get to the bottom of this somehow. It's Cam! All right, we gotta get him out of here. Okay, um, I'll take him to the hospital. No, no, it'll be too dangerous. Take him back to his Aunt Ruth's place. Keep in touch. You bet. Nobody in. Not exactly teeming with activity, is it? They have to be here somewhere. Force the doors, break the windows, do something. Oh, look, what's that? Why, it's a wild goose. All right, let's get back. That's not funny, Inspector. Can't you get a search warrant? To search for what? A secret laboratory in a house? I've been in there. It's a house. A rather grand house, but a house, nevertheless. Now, can we all please get back in the car and put a stop to this stupid nonsense? It's here. Somewhere. Look, I'm off duty. My dinner's getting cold. Can we all please get back in the car? We're going. Come on, Amy. We tried. I suppose you can't really blame the man. What for having a pea brain? <laughs> oh, Kevin! Where was he? The house. The house. I knew it. Yeah, everything you said was true. But they've gone, packed up and left. In a cattle truck. Right. I knew it, I knew that too. I'm gonna to have to start trusting these feelings. Oh, thank heavens he's alive. We've got to get him back into hospital. No, we can't. We don't know who's in on this. We can't trust anybody. He has to stay here. Where's Adam? In the truck. He better be careful. These people are out of their heads. Yeah, well, it's the only chance we have of finding a cure to save Kevin. If there is an antidote, they're the ones who'll have it. Well, you better find it fast. He's getting weaker every minute. I don't think he can hang on much longer. Hi. Amy Jackson. I've got a bone to pick with you. I've been worried sick. Where have you been? Nowhere. Well, you certainly haven't been at the hotel, that's for sure. I've tried to call you about a dozen times. You're never there. Now, what on earth's going on? What do you mean? Don't play the Miss Innocent act with me. You're up to no good. I can smell it. It's the flowers. Don't get cute with me, either. It doesn't work. I want to know where you've been and what you've been doing. It's boring, really. So bore me. I gather you've been interviewed by the police. Yes, news does travel fast, doesn't it? So tell me, what do you know about the boy? The one that was kidnapped? Amy? Nothing much, really. From me, you inherited your good looks. Your father supplied the talent for telling pathetic lies. Now, I want to know the whole story, please. Mum, I can't. You can't? I'm sorry, I've got to go. Amy! Mum! Amy, you're frightening me. This isn't like you. You always tell me everything. I just don't want you to be worried, that's all. But you think I'm not worried? <sighs> Trust me. I know what I'm doing. They need me. Amy, who are these people? I told you before, they're friends. Friends of the boys? Yes. And what about the parents? Do they know? I mean, what do they think? 
What's it all about? And how are you mixed up in it? I can't say any more. Please, don't ask any more. Amy, I want you out of it. What? I've spoken to your Aunt Elizabeth in Wembley. You're to be on the 11 o'clock train tomorrow. She'll meet you, and you're to stay there until I get better. No, Mum, no, you don't understand. I can't. Amy, listen to me. I'm not going to argue about it. I'm sorry, Mum, but honest, I can't. Look, I know you're worried, and I know you're only thinking of me, but I'm not a little kid anymore. You have to let me decide what to do and what is right. You have to trust me. I do trust you. So why can't you trust me? Because sometimes you have to stand your ground. You have to make a decision and stick to it. A lot's happened in the last couple of days. More than you can imagine. And I will tell you. I'll tell you all about it, but not yet. Because I've made a decision to stay and help my friends. And that's all there is to it. But I'll be all right. I swear I will. What's wrong? My baby girl's growing up right in front of my eyes. Come here. On the south side, heading east towards the docks. This makes no sense. Why would they head off to London? You got me. I mean, you want to go to ground, keep a low profile. Why would they choose the biggest and busiest city in the whole of Europe? You've got to be here for a reason. There's a lot more to this thing than meets the eye, but don't worry, we'll find out. You're very quiet this morning, Megabyte. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was just talking to Adam. Right, Porridge? Oh, yeah, great. Thanks. Hey, Adam. Can you hear me? It's Amy. Amy, you learned how to do it. Well done. Hey, what are you guys up to? Ruth made us breakfast. Oh, yeah? What are you having? Porridge. Oh, yeah. Porridge. Is it any good? You want the honest truth? It's salty and it has lumps in it. So how's the porridge? Oh, it's great. Hey, hang on. We just took a turning off the main road. You got a street name? No. Wait, yes. Yeah, Griffin Road, Southwest 1. Griffin Road? Hey, Megabyte, isn't that where... Yeah. That's where my dad's office is. Hold it, we're stopping. I'll get back to you. They're stopping in the street where your dad's office is. Yeah, looks like it. Well, can that just be a coincidence? It's one heck of a coincidence. Megabyte, it's Adam. You're not going to believe this. The terrible twins just stopped right outside your dad's office. Megabyte? You're too slow, Adam. You already left. Apologies for the early start, but I think you'll see how vital it is that we go over in detail the plans for this afternoon. Excuse me, I have to speak to General Damon. It's very urgent. Well, I'll tell him you're here. Excuse me. Yes? It's your son to see you, General. He says it's urgent. <laughs> he really picks his moments, doesn't he? Yeah, okay, Nancy. Tell him I'll be right out. Ten minutes tops. Uh, sorry, guys. Right, this convention. What we're responsible for today is a piece of scientific hardware, which, if it fell into the wrong hands, would cause a catastrophe. Simple as that. So it hardly needs to be stressed how essential it is that security is absolute, 100%. Now, if you'll turn to your information packs, we'll go through them point by point, deal with any questions anybody has. Excuse me. Yeah, um, I really have to speak to him now. He won't be long. Right. Just... 
Now, from what's in front of you, you'll see that the central focus of this afternoon's operation has got to be Dr. Conrad. 1,500 hours. She'll be carrying with her the machine I mentioned earlier. Code name, Cornucopia. I want a complete security lock-off at the airport, Jim. You got it. Good man. Now, I gather that she'll be bringing with her her 12-year-old son. I don't expect this to be a problem, but I do think we ought to have someone on hand to uh, look after him during the conference. Any volunteers? Jim? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Okay, next I want to talk about this. Excuse me, again. Yes? Ah. Jim, it's Commander Scott from Special Branch. He wants to know when we can go through the plan in detail. And a time, sir. Commander Scott? <laughs> well, yes, we're hard at it right now. Well, uh, yes, this afternoon will be fine, about 4 o'clock. Right. Yeah, I look forward to meeting you. Right. Bye. All right, let's hope that's the last of the interruptions. What? Dad, you gotta listen. Something's gone wrong here. What the? He's gonna be bugged. Dad, you gotta get her. Get her! Well, you heard him. Get her! We lost her, sir. All right, check the building one more time. Now, what is all this about? Dad, it's what I was trying to tell you yesterday. It's all mixed up with Kevin somehow, and those mosquitoes. Uh, mosquitoes? What do you mean, mosquitoes? What kind of mosquitoes? Son, you got some talking to do. Yeah, and you got some listening. <laughs> 